Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide valuation and mediation services based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're actually kind of building upon a prior discussion that we had, but we're going to be discussing the pandemic economy and divorce with Josh Schiltz and Patrick Kilbane. Josh's practice is really focused on complex financial matters and disputes. He's a frequent lecturer on forensic accounting topics and has been involved with hundreds of forensic investigations dealing with matters involving personal and business disputes, as well as the identification and mitigation of fraudulent activities. He's also provided expert testimony in commercial and family matters surrounding business valuations, economic damages, fraud, and other um, disciplines having to do with accounting and economics. He's a forensic valuation expert and offers tax advice in the state of Florida. Pat, on the other hand, is a wealth advisor with nearly a decade of experience in helping clients coordinate their wealth management plans. He's also general counsel for Ullman Wealth Partners. He is the director of Divorce Advisory Group, where he assists, guides, and supports clients before, during, and after they begin the divorce process. He helps high net worth clients make financial decisions at all stages of the divorce process by using his family law experience, uh, his wealth management experience, and his certified divorce financial analyst designation. I feel like everybody was kind of like, okay, let's wait and see, right? Let's just wait and see. We'll wait for six months. We'll see how it all pans out and then everything will be back to normal. And we won't have to, we'll just write off 2020 as never going to happen again. But the reality is what's happening is we now have 2021 that has continued, right? And so what we're having is sort of this new economy, a post pandemic economy that is going to continue long term because what we're seeing in businesses is it, you might have a higher cost for your employees, but you may have a lower cost for your rent right? You may have closed down some buildings. You may have, and those are all things that are going to be long-term going forward shifts in the actual business, uh, you know, the, the way that that company does business. So in valuation and in a lot of divorces and a lot of states, we have to look at the past. So yeah. now we have an, we have a, a completely wrong picture from the past agree with you. And yep. so now that, what do we do? And, that, and, that's yeah. been the problem because Melissa, to your point, my clients that I do valuation for work for in non-litigated matters, scenario analysis, we're running mm -hmm. models left and right of black swan events and what ifs. And if we change this, what does that do? Right. I mean, that's what we love to do. I think you bring up. A, so I talked about earlier is valuation is an expectation. But why do why do most of us stay away from a discounted cash flow approach? Mm -hmm. Because you're talking about fluctuations due to active participation in future events. So what are we left with in our toolbox? Mm -hmm. And that is, you know, historical cash flows and everything that we're doing in our work from evaluation from a divorce standpoint is testing whether or not those historical cash flows will stay relatively the same and what's the risk of change right to make okay. sure that so it's really hard right now to your point where businesses are going through this fundamental shift i mean and and i don't think 21 we're starting to see it 22 we're going to start seeing it i mean leases right like i'll tell you what my lease is up in a year i started looking for commercial space thinking there'd be a, a gluttony of it out there there's not there's not and the prices so, are not going down. No, no, but, they're not. So there, we're talking a lot about the new office and employees working from home. So, but I don't see it in the the marketplace. So is it just talk at this point? Right. I don't know. And, and I think, Pat, if I'm hearing you correctly, what we got to do is, yes, it's noise. Be aware of it. But let's also focus on some fundamentals too, right? Correct. And Melissa, there was something that Melissa said that I wanted to touch on about how, you know, personnel costs may, you know, have, have jumped up. But I mean, look at how much more efficient things are. Take, for example, this podcast. 
maybe two years ago, I would have gotten on a plane this morning to go to St. Louis to be in some studio to tape this. And then either I stay in a hotel room tonight and fly out tomorrow morning. But instead, I've been able to work a full day and, you know, get on Zoom five minutes or, or get in this um, this StreamYard uh, website to record this. And I'll tell you what, there are all sorts of board meetings now that, you know, I don't drive to. Maybe if I have four board meetings a year, I will attend one of them in person because, you know, I, I still want to have that. But I feel like I can do more community service work and, and more not-for-profit work. And it's it's way more efficient. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 